Oh, watch ya. Glad you can make it. All right, then. We're in business. In business, right? So don't let's mess about. Let's get on with it, because time's money. Now, if you've gone to the trouble of getting hold of this video, you're either thinking of buying a van for the first time or swapping the one you got for a new one. Or you're after a free tape, which is hard luck, because this one only lasts about 15 minutes. Choose the right van. It'll not only help you earn more money, it'll help you keep it. Lumber yourself with the wrong van, and it's a dead liability all round. Simple as that. And that's why I'm here, to help you make the right choice and more money. Now, fair enough, but which van? Or even better to kick off with, which not? If you take my advice, you'll give converted estate cars and foreign jobs the elbow straight off. The first, because they're neither one thing or the other. All the disadvantages of an estate without the real advantages of a van. And the foreign vans, because their parts are expensive. Their warranties usually aren't up to much, resale values are lousy, and their dealers are too few and far between to give you the service you need. Which means what? For a choice, you're looking at Ford, Bedford and Austin Rover. Now, all right, fair dues. You think I'm here to push Austin Rover? Well, yes and no. All I'm going to do is ask the same sort of questions you were to ask if you want to choose a good van. From then on, these two sell themselves. What I'm sitting on is what it's all about. And don't get me wrong, I'm in this lot. It don't matter a tinkers what you have to carry to do the job, it all comes down to weight and volume. Sounds obvious, but a lot of people buy vans without thinking about basics and spend the next couple of years kicking themselves. So, weight first. Now then, you're the only one who knows what kind of weight you have to cope with because you're the person who has to lug it about. So tip number one, don't buy a van that'll only cope with your average payload. Go for one that'll carry the maximum weight your experience reckons you could need. That way, you're going to be well covered for the vast majority of jobs except those occasional pig awkward runs. Next, always pick a van with a suspension that's been specially designed for the job. And finally, go for a van with a good wide track and a long wheelbase. Payload, suspension, track and wheelbase. Why? Well, I'll tell you. Underestimate what payload you really need and you'll always be working the van to the limit. Flog it to death and in no time, your petrol bills will go up like a rocket. Costly business all round. Same with the suspension that's not up to it. It'll be clapped out before your name's dry on the side of the van. And a wide track and a long wheelbase makes a safe carrying platform, good and stable, so your van rides right and handles without lurching all over the road. So how do these two start to shape up? You can carry up to 310 kilos in the Metro van. Beats the Fiesta, its biggest rival. It's got a tough suspension system, and as far as stability goes, ask any Metro owner. And there's nothing in the same class to touch the Maestro. You've got a choice of a 500 kilo payload or a really hefty 700 kilos if you really need it. Escort and Astromax can't get anywhere near the top weight and the suspension's purpose built for the job. So when you add the wider track and the longer wheelbase, the ride and handling's a knockout. It's very, very stable. No matter what you're carting around in the back, when it comes to carrying weight, Metro and Maestro are just the job. There's nothing to touch them. Next thing, load space. OK, you want as much room in the back as you can get. Any Wally can work that out, I know. But you've got to base it on the maximum space that you're likely to need, not your average payload. And there's another thing. It's not only length, width and height that counts. Go for practical load space as well, right? Now, first tip, look for a van with balanced inside dimensions as well as big ones. You can juggle stuff about, you see, fit more in. And don't forget, that can make all the difference between one trip and the costs and aggro of two. Second tip, unless you fancy a rupture, go for something that's easy to load and unload. Wide, high loading area, sensible floor height, and doors that don't get in the ruddy way when you've got half a tonne of gear in your hands. Make your life easy, for heaven's sake. When it comes to space, you'd expect Austin Rover to come up with a business now, wouldn't you? Now, just cop this. Outside, 10 inches shorter and 1 inch narrower than the Fiesta. Just the job around town. Load space, 6 inches longer. Getting over 3 inches wider between the wheel arches and almost 9 inches higher. Nearly 10% more carrying space. It's potty, in it? Add on the high lifting tailgate, wide loading area, low sill height, and you've got yourself a very handy little van. And the Maestro is something else again. When it comes to load space, the Escort and Astra just don't get a look in. Maestro beats them both hands down. 
The only real competitor is the Astromax, and Maestro still comes out well on top. The Maestro floors, nearly six inches longer and a bit wider. Astromax is a fraction higher, and there's about that much more between the wheel arches. Mind you, you pay for the extra, because they've had to mess about with the suspension to get it. Anyway, Maestro still works out a good bit bigger inside. The loading sill's lower, and the doors go further back out the way. So altogether, when you're making a decision about a large, practical load space, Austin Rover's got to be first choice again. Oh, and they've both got lights in the back for night loading. Now, what about van engines? Petrol's still favourite. I suppose because most people who run up to two or three vans like what they know about. But, but when you're looking at engines, the most important thing's fuel consumption. Nailing the running costs as low as you can. So choose a van that's mean at the pump. That's the first thing. Next, choose a van with an engine that's got good pulling power. You're shifting weight, remember? So a sports car acceleration and top speed's not only a waste, it's a dead liberty of some heavy-footed speed merchants driving the van you're paying for into the ground. Plenty of power and torque at low revs means you ain't knocking yell out of an engine and clutch just to get the load mobile. Third tip, think about how much servicing your engine's going to need and how often. And don't forget the cost of spare parts and how easily you can get hold of them. It all adds up, you know. Any time your van spends in a garage is not only costing money, it's losing money. So, how does the Metro shape up to all that? A choice of two great little motors with lots and lots of low rev muscle. A one litre that will turn in an average of around 50 to the gallon. Or a 1.3 litre that will do an overall 46 to the gallon. And if you like, there's a low compression version of each that will do it all very merrily on two star juice. Then, there's the Maestro. Once again, you've got a choice of two gutsy engines. A 1.3 motor geared to match either payload that will give you up to 35 a gallon round town and about 40 on average. Or with the 700 kilo city van, you can go for the new 1.6 engine if you want. Ideal if you're always shifting heavy loads or you're into a lot of long distance work. Even with the extra power, you're still looking at about 31 to the gallon in town and almost 36 average, which is damn good. And if you like, there's low compression versions of both engines that run on two star, same as Metro. So, what does it all add up to? One, both Austin Rover vans are way ahead of Ford and Bedford in petrol economy, and that's vital for somebody like you who needs to keep costs down. Two, both Metro and Maestro have a lot more pulling power at low revs than the opposition, which is where it's really needed to do the jobs vans are bought for. That means less engine strain and longer vehicle life. Three, Metro and Maestro do more miles on a tank full, so you lose less of the working day messing about filling up. Four, Austin Rover's servicing needs are dead simple, and only every 12,000 miles. And five, Austin Rover parts don't cost an arm and a leg. They've got the largest dealer network in the UK, so the backup you need is just round the corner to keep you on the road. It all adds up to the lowest running costs of any vans in their class, bar none. And there's still plenty of poking either if you want to use it. Any faster, and I should buy yourself a Montego Turbo and do it in your spare time. So, when it comes to pure economic muscle, Austin Rover again. Now, the last major decision you're going to have to make is about your working environment. Your working environment? Yeah, I mean, if you've got a job to do, and driving a van's a tough job, you've got to have the right basic conditions to do the job well, right? Your working environment. Now, the most important thing that you've got to look for in a van cab is plenty of room. If you're all cramped up, every mile you do is going to seem like ten, especially if you do a lot of driving. If a van cab ain't got a lot of room, forget it. And almost as important is the seating. I mean, if they're not comfortable, if they ain't got a lot of support where it's needed, your backside's going to go on strike before you know it. And the last tip, pick a van that's a pleasure to drive, one you can relax in and enjoy. I mean, just because it's a job, it doesn't mean it's got to be boring, does it? So what sort of working environment do you get with Austin Rover? Well, it's just space engineering again, isn't it? Let's start with the Metro. For a van of its size, there's a ton of room up front. I mean, in the car version, the space inside's what everybody raves about. Metro seats are body contoured for comfort and support, and they're rake adjustable, so you can get your driving position just how you like it. And take a load of this. Knock spots off the Escort and two Astras. More legroom, more headroom, more elbow room, a lot more. The seats are great. Real long distance comfort. Firm support and with plenty of adjustment to make the most of the legroom. So Austin Rover does it again. Drive a Metro or a Maestro, and you're going to get a lot less knackered, especially on the long trips, and you'll be able to do a better job all round.
So, let's see where we're at. In the five key areas where a van buyer's got to make a vital decision, Austin vans are the most obvious choice. In payload, load space, engine power, low running costs, and comfortable working conditions, Metro and Maestro score every time over their Ford and Bedford rivals. If you're choosing a van, there honestly ain't much choice. It's an Austin, isn't it? What's more, their prices are right, and you get a lot of van for your money. You're going to be buying a van that's based on one of the two most popular selling cars in the country. So they're both crackers to look at for starters. And the inside's just as neat, with facier layouts, no skimping on instruments and equipment, so lush, you're going to have to keep reminding yourself you're really driving a van at all. Then you've got a choice of 12 body colours and two different levels of trim in each range. From what I call bog standard luxury to a specification that van drivers' dreams are made of. Some have even got music while you work. Mind you, first and foremost, they're working vans, designed and built for the job, with all the little touches that show somebody really knows what van users want. You've got to hand it to Austin Rover. They think of everything. Apart from the fact that both vans hold their value when you come to swap again, what else should you know? I've already said about Austin Rover having the biggest dealer network, but what I didn't tell you is the rest of the backup you get, did I? You get a fantastic 12-month Supercover warranty deal, 24-hour protection, and you can extend it for another one or two years with SuperSure if you want. All your service and repair works guaranteed by your Austin Rover dealer, so there's nothing to worry about there. And whatever you do, don't forget this. This is your Austin Rover Business Link card. It's the best thing that's happened to business motoring for yonks. Use one of these to buy your van, and as well as lots of special treatment from Austin Rover and your local dealer, you get a year's guaranteed mobility free. If your van's off the road with any problem, including accidents, for more than a day, just hire a similar replacement van, and Austin Rover foots the bill. No sweat, no hassle, just continuous motoring. Instant peace of mind worth its weight in gold. Now, the only thing I mentioned and didn't follow up was what the 1986 Metro and Maestro vans are like to drive. Well, come on, there's not much I can do about that here, is there? That's down to you. If you think I've been talking sense, get in touch with your local Austin Rover dealer and he'll fix you up with a demo drive any time to suit you. He's all geared up and waiting. You've already got a brochure, and if you need more info or advice on finance, he's just the bloke. Look him up in the yellow pages and give him a bell now. It could be one of the best business decisions you'll ever make. Because I reckon, once you see the vans for real and get behind the wheel, you're going to see what I've been rabbiting on about. When it comes to choosing a van for your business, Austin Rover really deliver. Oh! Oh, oh, and one last thing before you go. Um, if you've got a mate who uses a van, do us a favour and let him borrow the tape when you're finished. I've, uh, I've nearly finished my paper and I could do with a company. Ta. To test drive one of the 1986 Austin Maestro or Metro vans, simply telephone 0272 217 217 and an Austin Rover dealer will be in touch to make arrangements. 0272 217 217.